Paycock Online has 39 available reports. To select a report, select Reports from the Navigation List, choose the desired report, a flyout menu will display. Choose the desired employees and options, select Run Report, the report will display in the preview window. To run a report for all employees, select Reports from the Navigation List, double-click on the desired report, the report will display in the preview area. To run reports for only selected employees, select Reports from the Navigation List. Choose the desired report, a flyout menu will display. Under the Employees section, choose the employees to be included on the report. Select Run Report. The report will display in the preview area with the selected employees. To run a report for a pay period, choose Reports from the Navigation List. The Reports area will open with the list of reports. Single click on a desired report and choose the employee and any additional options you desire. From the toolbar, select the desired pay period using the left or right arrow. Use the down arrow to select the closed pay period under View All. Select Run Report. The report will display in the preview area with the data for the selected pay period. The report list can be filtered to specific types of reports. Select Reports in the Navigation List. Above the report list, press the menu button. In the drop down menu, select your desired filter. On larger reports, the preview may generate a jump to list to the left. This list may consist of employee names, dates, or even departments. To jump to a specific employee in reports, select Reports from the Navigation List. Select on the report you desire. A flyout menu will open. After making any necessary changes in the flyout menu, select Run Report. After the report preview generates, if applicable, you should have a jump to list to the left of the preview. Scroll down the list until you see your desired item and select it. The report preview will automatically jump to the first page where your selected item appears. Certain reports allow you to drill down and get more detailed information. The drill down feature saves you time since you don't have to select and run another report. To drill down to another report, select reports from the navigation list. Choose the desired report, a flyout menu will display. Choose the desired employees and options, select run report. The report will display in the preview area. Within the report preview, click on one of the values displayed. It will raise up when hovered over with the mouse. The next report preview will generate. The personalize button allows you to make minor changes to a report in the flyout menu. Grouping will allow you to separate the employees in your report by department in the report preview. The employees list will allow you to check or uncheck each employee that will be included in a report. Under the menu button, you can also opt to include inactive or terminated employees in your report. The layout section will allow you to check or uncheck what columns display in a report and in what order. It will also allow you to select which column the report should be sorted by and if it should be sorted by ascending or descending. The format section will allow you to determine if hours should display in AM, PM or 24 hour format. This will also allow you to show totals in minutes or hundreds, if notes should be displayed, and if the employees with zero hours should be displayed. For certain users, PayClock Online offers them the opportunity to customize the reports available and save these changes. Select Reports from the Navigation List. Single click only the report you wish to customize in the list. The flyout will open. Make your desired changes to each section available in the flyout. At the top, change the name of the report to your desired title. Click Save as New at the top of the flyout. The new personalized report will display in the list of available reports. To save a report as a different format, select Reports from the Navigation List.
single click on any report you desire, a flyout menu will open. After making any necessary changes in the flyout menu, select Run Report. After the report preview generates, on the Report Toolbar, press Save As. In the top drop now list, select your desired file type, follow your browser prompts to either save the file or open it. The following payroll service products are configured from within inside PayClock Online. ADP PC Payroll, Complete Payroll, Fortune 1000, Millennium, Paychex PayLink for Windows, Payroll One, Paywork Payroll, Preview by Paychex, and Rapid Payroll. To set up one of these exports, select Exports from the navigation list and choose Setup from the menu. The Setup Exports window will display. Select New and choose the desired export from the list. Follow the on-screen instructions. Your payroll service will provide the needed information to complete the export wizard. Select Exports from the navigation list. Select your export in the list. Press the Export button. Your browser will prompt you to save the file PayClock Online generates. QuickBooks allows direct communication with their database. The export integration is configured from the PayClock Agent application. On the computer that QuickBooks is installed on, run the Setup Assistant and follow the on-screen instructions. The Setup Assistant can be located at the link below. After the Setup Assistant has been installed, in the Windows System tray, right-click on the PayClock agent and select Setup, Modify, Payroll Exports. Enter your credentials and press Login. Press the New button. Select QuickBooks in the list and press Setup Export. Select the pay class you desire to export your times from and press Next. Press Next. QuickBooks will open with the window asking for you to give permission to PayClock to make changes to QuickBooks. Select Yes, Always, and press Continue. Press Done. And the PayClock agent confirmed that the QuickBooks file it is displaying is the one you are intending to export to. Press Next. Select Manually Map. The first drop-down menu will represent your pay codes in QuickBooks. The second drop-down menu will represent your pay codes in PayClock. Match your QuickBooks pay codes to your PayClock pay codes using the drop-down menus. To add them, press the Add button. Once complete, press Next. In the next window, if you wish for QuickBooks to send employee pay rates over to PayClock, check the box and press Next. In the final window, rename the QuickBooks export as you desire and press Finish. Select Exports in the Navigation List. Select your QuickBooks export in the list. Check the Pay Period to Export drop-down menu to verify the dates you'll be exporting. Press Export Data. The ASCII Custom Export Wizard allows you to create a customized export that may be used to integrate with additional payroll programs that do not have a default export wizard in PayClock Online.